think a high value man, the number one thing they look at is number one, weight? No, number one thing is going to start with the looks. If they're currently you don't not think fit that's... and have hands to go work out on their fitness journey, I don't think it's an unrealistic expectation to want to have like a guy with a really good physique. That just sounds crazy to me. Somebody that's not fit demanding someone that's fit. I think reaching for a high value man is 100% possible. For me. I think it's impossible. Why? Because men are physical. So the first thing we even gonna look at, we're gonna look at the physical. We're gonna look at the beauty and we're gonna look at the weight factor. And the weight factor matters because, hey, I'm gonna want you to have some kids. We, so I'm gonna look at you and go, damn, she already out of shape. So if I want three kids, I'm looking at you right now, plus 30 more pounds from baby weight that you ain't gonna be able to kick or get rid of. It's like, nah, you're cooked already. Already you lost from the look aspect and the physical aspect. So already you're done. Not saying you can't get a man, but I think you shooting for a high value man, I think you beyond delusional. Not only is that delusional, but you got to understand this stems from women overpricing themselves and swinging outside of their league, batting way far out of their average, such as the woman here. But she doesn't know how cooked she is, like he was saying. She's like, if you use her for an example, she's cooked. No guy that's worth value is going to settle for her. He has all the women as well. So what makes you think if that guy is in front of you that he's going to pick you or you're even going to want to deal with this guy? And that's the thing. Like modern women really don't know what's going on. They think these guys are all over the place and high value men are like, you know, like rare women today. They're just hard to find. They're like unicorns and women just don't really know it. But facts on what he said there, because it made total sense. As I'm getting older, I realize that I want nothing more than to have a cute little house with my kids, my two dogs, and I just want to pack them lunches, maybe make some cute little TikToks of me making my man lunch, of me making my kids lunch. I want to tend to my lawn. I want to go to Pilates classes with the girls, maybe wake up at 9 a.m. on a Friday. Like, you know, those are the kinds of activities I want to be doing. Like, housewife me right the fuck now. I'm tired of being a hardworking woman, okay? Like, I don't want to have to work anymore. What the fuck? Pretty girls should not have to work, point blank, period. Girls, women in general, should just have everything given to them, and that's really what I believe. Like, what the fuck? Yes. When the wall is catching up to these ladies and they're 30 years old, this is when all this talk starts coming out. This is when they throw their independence out of the window, flush it down the toilet, and they demand a man and they shouldn't have to work anymore. Some guy should just come rescue them just because they have a vagina and long hair, naturally. It's it's just crazy to me, man. It's, <laughs> it's preposterous. But at the same time, this is what modern women start saying when that wall starts creeping up. And, you know, their uterus starts kicking them in the gut saying, hey, we are losing eggs. You need to hurry up and fertilize. And all these sensors are going to her brain and then it's going into her thought process. And from there, it comes out into a video on TikTok. But a lot of these women don't tell you why they're wanting this now and how come they couldn't get it when they were in their prime. It's because they were too busy running the streets, the cold, hard streets, running up their body count and thinking that they can cash out at the end when their chips are totally down and they have nothing left to, to you know offer a guy and this is so sad like women just don't get this concept but man modern women man they never learn until it's too late best bet for her she's gonna have to get a sucker but she's probably gonna have to go 50 50 because a lot of dudes are in their soft guy era drizzle drizzle I would really like you guys to try to like lay off of my age. Like if somehow that is an insult by being 40 plus, 46 to be exact. I'll be 47 in October. Like that's a flex. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, I guess I'm just used goods. Oh, well, darling, let me, allow me to reintroduce myself, okay? My name is Jade Nicole Steele. I have many applicants to pay my bills. I don't ask them to do this, but they know what it takes to court a certain kind of woman. Yo, she talking about these niggas. Who's that? Oh, it's Mr. MVP, Sam! I'm that certain kind of bitch. I'm 47 years old. I've never had any surgery. Everything is real. We don't care. Let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you, we don't care. And I'm still killing him. I'm still killing the game.
Nope. So, you know, for all of you people that think like I'm just sitting here alone with a cat, not. Actually, you are. You don't have a cat, but you have a dog. And if you move your camera and show your nightstand, it's probably a bottle of wine right there because she is a wine bibber. And that is the thing, man, like absolutely ridiculous how these women sit up here knowing that they failed when it comes to their biology. They have one job, lock down a man when they're young and attractive so they won't have to act like they're 21 years old while they're going on 47 years old. And you can tell this lady sitting here with another woman's weave on top of her head. It looks absolutely ridiculous and slapped on because she's still in the bed at 11 o'clock. Means she's not productive because she's too busy flexing these supposed simps and pay pigs that she has like that's some type of flex. If you're dealing with men and you don't respect them enough and you don't have a ring, it's not a flex. <laughs> Who told this woman that being dried out of the dating market and not offering men anything that he wants, you offer him the opposite that he won't pay for, which is menopause, and he only deals with you for sexual access. You think that that's a flex? <laughs> that's how you know they hurt, bro. That's how you know because their main commodity is their bodies. And once they start shriveling up, once they start sagging, she's like, my body is real. Yeah, it's real saggy. It's real old and prehistoric. <laughs> that is the thing. Like, these women are hilarious, bro. Delusion over 9,000. Y'all need to stop giving men excuses for the red flags they got. Let's call it out for what it is. He doesn't want to send you flowers because he doesn't want to. He doesn't text you because he doesn't want to. He doesn't take you out on dates because he doesn't want to. He doesn't give you consistency because he doesn't want to. Once y'all start realizing the fact that they just don't want to, it's so much easier to move on instead of spending time trying to understand why they don't want to do X, Y, Z. When in all reality, it's as simple as he doesn't want to. And that's when you get a man that wants to. So stop with the excuses for them. Because that man does have time. If someone wanted to, they would, period, point blank. I could be the busiest person, but when it's for the person that I want, for the person I love or like, I have all the time in the world for them. So let's be real with ourselves this year and call it out for what it is. Because there's way too many people in this world that would. So don't waste your breath and don't waste your tears. Man, this woman here, uh, she doesn't make sense because what she's conflating is how females do things in business and how men do business. So what she's saying is actually backwards and she doesn't understand male nature. The thing is, she's not informing these women who she's actually talking to that they're side girls and guys aren't going to do all these things for you that she just mentioned because men are only extracting box from you because men have a category. Just like you have a friend zone, men have a sex only zone where we put women in the boxing category of non-monogamy, non-relationship, all that crap, dating, girlfriend slot. You're just in there for the sex. When a man needs sex, he'll hit you up. Uh, number two saying that oh well you need to just move on and go to the next guy and because he just doesn't want to and the next guy will the guy that she's talking about is typically a simp and they don't really last long with these type of women these type of women want a guy who's strong and masculine but they say well if it's a person i love and a person that i'm with i have time for them yeah you because you are female that's how you show your time you, i mean your love you want to spend time with your guy you want your guy under your thumb 24 7. guys are not like that we don't have to be around you 24 7. that's the thing we can compartmentalize our time our work other women and you at the same time women don't seem to understand that men are totally different in attraction and what we look for and how we do business it's not symmetrical it's asymmetrical this is so simple yet women complicate it because they cannot take themselves out of their own two shoes and it's ridiculous <sighs> anyway this is why dudes get their passport and go overseas um as a late 20s going into my 30s single girly i'm fucking struggling i am battling between yes girl you're so super independent like go off yeah i have your high standards and then i'm struggling between like i need a man i need a man not just any man a good man how are you gonna go do that go put yourself out there but how does one do that because dating apps ain't it they ain't it and whenever a man flirts with me i i, I pull this they say they flirt and i'm like <laughs> anyway uh yeah so i just <laughs>
I don't know, but it's getting really hot out here in Arizona and people are by the pool, couples are by the pool and they're like flirting and hanging all over each other and it's kind of hot and it's kind of hot and I just think back to that feeling and that feeling is kind of unmatched. I'm not going to lie. When you have a good connection and you're like, oh yeah, water, pool, hot, sun, tan, abs. Like what the fuck? One night stand is out of the question. I know that like that's not how we're supposed to function as a society, but like that's that was so 27 to me. Uh, what is the answer here? Does your girl get lower standards? Does she keep them high forever and then just use what's in her nightstand, or does does someone eventually just pop up? You know, like I'm struggling. I'm struggling. This is for all of the single ladies that are struggling between being strong, being independent, and then also just wanting it. If you're, if you're, if you're like me, I feel you. So the saying goes, a woman without instruction will be led to destruction because men typically lead women and women follow men. So what you have here is you have a woman who will continuously sabotage every situation, even if she gets one, by fighting a, with the chat GPT sisterhood bot that's connected to her that's saying, be strong, fight. You're a strong, independent woman. You don't need no man. But her actual natural urges, her real attraction triggers are going off. And that is going to override the programming. But the thing is, women like her, they say, oh, I want a good man. I need a man. I need a good man. But what they mean by good man is they need a man that's going to check off all these boxes. This super nigga, like this super ninja, building ninja, like this guy that she just, you know, has constructed in her head. She believes like that is what she is talking about. But she's being delusional because that type of guy that she would actually go for, this good man, is not going to take her serious. And why would he take her serious? Because good men and all of these women are going to have to share these guys anyway. Is she okay with that? Does she even consider that? No, because her delusions are so strong. But you can tell right there, her primal urges are to get a man, get locked down so she doesn't have to worry about fighting her own attraction triggers and fighting her own nature as a woman. It's just ridiculous, but she will find a way if she lets the chat GPT bot win to sabotage any situation that she gets in in the future. And you can just tell she has so many questions. She has no knowledge, no direction, and she is being led to destruction as we speak but that's how modern women are man and that's why get your passport go overseas and deal with the women and watch your dating and watch all your options just explode and you become the commodity you become the prize and you you know operate how you want to operate without dealing with the bs that you deal with here in western society but hopefully man it'll get turned over one way or another but who knows man by that time we'll probably be somewhere else Anyway, hope you, hope you guys like the video. That's the end of it. Make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel, post notifications on because I'm pretty much posting a video every single day. Comment your thoughts in the comment section. It moves the algorithm and it gets the videos out to way more people to grow here with Bounty Villains. But you already know what it is. It's your boy Bountyville. Bounty Villains up. Mastodon's down. Let's get it. Let's go. We on the road to 100K. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. As always, my Bounty Villains, I love y'all to death. Um... I'm going to get back up to cooking this content that you guys love. I'll see you guys all in the next one, all right? Two times, deuces. Peace. You can get that passport.